Imagine you could make anything come to life with the snap of your fingers. Uh. Okay, maybe not anything, but at least day-to-day -day stuff like this robot arm, or that poor cat, or this giant statue that I bumped into the other day. Skadoosh! Pretty cool, right? And what if I told you that you could achieve that power as well? It's all about being creative with your skills and your mind. Just a little bit of this and a little bit of that and you'll have a super cool VFX shot to show all of your friends. And today I will show you how I made this statue come to life. The first thing I did was to make the decision that I wanted to necromance him. And from there I took a 3D scan and a 360 degree photo, then I recorded my footage on a tripod and used FSpy to set up a 3D camera that matches with the perspective of the video. Then I dropped my 3D scan into Blender and 3D scans aren't always perfect, but luckily I have a few tricks up my sleeve that I'm going to share with you. First, I removed all of the vertices that are not linked with the statue. Here I managed to rebuild the statue in editing mode by using an armature and a model as reference. But I had a little problem. The texture was awful. So to fix this, I selected my whole model in editing mode, went to the UV, unwrapped it, and to fix the faces that were ugly, I just selected them, pressed project by view, and now in the UV editor, I could give the face a new texture from another part of my model. It certainly wasn't perfect, but for me, it did the trick. This was really exciting. The difficult part was now over, and I could finally work with the statue. It only took, well, a few hours. But now I could start giving the statue some movement. I gave him a little skeleton and tried to parent it with the model with the automatic weights. But oh god, who would have thought it was so hard to successfully necromance a 1000 year old statue? Luckily, I found a weird solution on the internet. So somehow by scaling the skeleton and the model 100 times, parenting it with automatic weights, then scaling it back down, parenting it again, worked. Thank you random guy from the internet. And normally I would also add in a plane with shadow catcher on, but this time I just had to use the rest of the 3D scan as the shadow catcher. From here, it was easy peasy. Just render it out, blend the 3D statue with the original statue using a mask, remove the original statue in Photoshop, add some dust overlays on the giant to make him look really crusty, animate the camera, add stone sounds, and voila! Necromance complete. It really goes to show that you can create absolutely anything with enough passion and ambition. Anyways, here's how the final result looks. Do you want to learn how to make epic fighting anime videos? Well, you should check out my other cool videos. And remember to join my Discord. Goodbye, guys.